What's going on guys? Welcome back. Shout out to Eric Butler who posted the comment saying I can't wait for the next video. And in the last video, I think that was like three or four days ago, I uh, just got back from vacation. Hope everyone is back and caught up and ready to rock and roll. Okay, so I'm looking at my webpage right here and I still have a whole bunch of real estate over here that I need to utilize. And in HTML5, we can add JavaScript. We can add cool animations and stuff like that. So in this video, I want to prep this little CSS box that is invisible because we haven't built it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So let's go to our let's go to our HTML index.html page and let's look at our side tag right here. And let's just go ahead and create another a side tag. And we'll set this equal to uh oh. I'm not sure I'll call it side underscore two, maybe? Makes sense. And let's close that out right now so we don't forget. And in the meantime, let's just go ahead and say our new sidebar or our new widget, same thing. That's what we call it in the biz, widgets, sidebar information. And let's see, well, let's, I mean, we can see what it, it shows up, what it's gonna look like, but there's no CSS to it. Our new widget, that's not what we want. So let's go ahead and go to our CSS file and let's go ahead and create some CSS. So I believe we called it side underscore two. Something like that. And what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Well first things first we need to float it to the right. We'll save that. And then I want to give it a border too. I'm just gonna give it a one pixel border. You can go ahead and give it the cool border radius and box shadow and all that stuff if you're up for it. But for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a border of one pixel and solid black. Yeah. And we'll give it a width. What was our width up here? 25%. 25%. Padding. We'll try six pixels for the time being. See how that looks doesn't look like enough padding. We can always go back and change it. Margin right. I don't know, but I'm going to guesstimate about 13%. Let's see what it looks like now. That might be too much margin. Okay, let's go back. How much margin do we do up here? We did 5%. Okay, so it's way off. 5% margin. Uh oh, we need uh, margin top. Margin top. We'll say 3%. See how that looks? Remember, CSS is just a ton of guess and check. Mm, I'm going to push it a little bit more away from the right. Margin right, we'll say 7%. Perfect. Works for me. If it works for you guys, it works for me. What am I missing? Margin top. Background. I'll just go white for this. And clear both. Perfect. So clear both gets it away from all of this other stuff. It gives it away. It breaks it off from this div as well as this div. So let's go ahead and I think that's all I want to do for this video. So make sure you guys have this correct code, this CSS right here. I will break it down a little bit so it's easier to see. Something like that, that should work. I'll save that. And for index.html, all I have in here is our new widget. All right, guys, so good luck with this. In the next video, we'll start talking about JavaScript animation inside our HTML5 website. Good luck.